right? Listen, uh, I'm making the plans for this evening, right? Why? What's happened? Well, I've got a little surprise, lady. What is it? Well, it wouldn't be a surprise if I told you, would it? Right? Mm -hmm. That's the market bloke, isn't it? Yeah. You know him, then. He comes in here for his coffee. That's all. Just like you, David. Mum? What do you want? I haven't had your first argument already, have you? No. So what are you doing here, then? I wanted to come see you and sort a few things out. I know I fly off the handle sometimes. Yeah, you do. Yeah, but it's only because I worry about you. I know. Look, Alan and I are going through a sticky patch at the moment, so it, it can't have been easy for you. But moving back in with Ricky... Look, this has nothing to do with you or Alan. I mean, I say that, it didn't help, obviously, but this is not what it's about, is it? Well, what then? I don't know, Mum. I just feel like... I've got it all sussed, you know. It's all coming together for me at the moment. What, we're working on the store and that. Yeah, but why go running back to Rick? I'm not running back. But I know what he did, and I know why you worry about me. I love him, Mum, and I can't help that, can I? No, I suppose you can. And it's up to me to make it work, and I will. It takes two, Bianca. Look, Ricky wouldn't dare cheat on me again. He knows if he did, that'd be it. Don't worry, Mum. I've changed. I'm not going to start rushing into marriage and that, not yet. You all right, Little things are going my way for a change. Don't tell me you want to fire on a lottery scratch card. No, the uh, divorce position came through from Sam's solicitor. Well, ain't you been fooled out already? Yeah, I know, but I never done anything about it last time, so I had to do it all over again. Mm -hmm. And Bianca's moved back in. Well, please, yeah. And tonight, um, I want to pop the question. Why did you turn Alan down? When I was your age, I thought I'd meet a man, get married, have more kids, end of story. That's true. It was always my dream when I was knee-high and a bridesmaid at my aunt's wedding. But now... Go on. No, no, never mind. Oh, come on, spit it out. Oh, I've seen people get married. I've seen their marriages fall apart. As soon as they get that piece of paper saying, you belong to me and what's yours is mine, they stop trying, stop working at it. Yeah, but Alan wants to stand up and tell all them people that he loves you and you love him. That's sort of nice, like a declaration, isn't it? He loves you, Mum, and he wants to show it. Yeah, but there are other ways of showing it. But you've been through this much together. If it's not broken down under this stress and strain, it's not likely to now, is it? Declaration, eh? Big word, isn't it? Yeah, but marriage is bigger. Well, with a failed marriage and an engagement behind you, I would have thought you'd had enough. Thanks for your advice, but I think I'm not. Good. Because these little sessions are beginning to wear me out. I'm starting to feel like Claire Rayner. Uh, you know, I know I've messed up in the past and that, but you know, we love each other, we want to be together. So, you know, marriage and kids is the next logical step, isn't it? Kids? Well, yeah, eventually, yeah. And have you, uh, you talked to Bianca about this? Ah, oh, but all women want kids, don't they? <laughs> yeah, well, maybe, and yeah, maybe not, but, uh, well, having kids is a big thing, isn't it? Well, you'd know more about that than I would. <laughs> I'm still learning, mate. Ask me again in 20 years. It's really special. I've got a wonderful page in Carolyn. That's the way I looked for it. For the beer, mate. Yeah, just give it about half hour. Make sure it's warmed through. Then just serve it up. <laughs> Cheers, Alan. You're a <laughs> lifesaver. So what's all this about? I've just had the uh, divorce petition come through. Oh, I see. Yeah. And tonight, I'm, I'm going to ask Bianca to marry me. I thought you already did. Yeah, well, you know, that was before. This time, I'm going to do it right. Ricky, what's going on? Look, what just you keep your eyes closed for a minute. Go on, then. Right, you're done, then, now. <laughs> what are you laughing for? This is brilliant. Even better than last time. I've got lasagna in the oven. Who said romance was dead, eh? <laughs> so, you still ain't telling me what all this is about yet? This. It's addressed to you. Yeah, I know. I think you might want to have a look at it. Looks official. It's the uh, divorce petition. It's come through. So this means you're going to be a free man? Well, not for long. So, Bianca, will you marry me? So, what'd you say? You just took me by surprise, that's all. Well, what do you think all this lot was for? Getting back together. Marriage? That's what you've always wanted, isn't it? Look, you know I love you, don't you, Ricky? Well, that's why I want to get married. Well, whatever the answer, well, you know that. Of course. It's all moving so fast. 
Uh, no, I thought we could have a June wedding. Maybe go on honeymoon or something. You know, we could go somewhere like Turkey or, you know, somewhere exotic like that. I mean, we can afford it. We've got two wages coming in, haven't we? June? Or, or July, if you prefer. No, you know, I don't want to rush her. I know how perfect you'd like it to be. But what happened last time we tried to plan a wedding? Yeah, but that's all forgotten about now, isn't it? Is it? So what are you trying to say? I ain't saying anything. I, I've took you by surprise, I can see that. Maybe you need time to think. I am thinking. Look, we can do it as, as big or as small as you like, you know, whatever you want. You're not gonna make me get down on my knees, are you? All right. <sighs> Bianca. Will you marry me? I love you, Ricky. But the answer's no. I won't marry you.